Curious about how new makeup products and popular items perform after an entire week of use? Check back every week for Makeup Bag Mondays. This week I'm testing out the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Hourglass Vanish Highlight and Flash Champagne. The new The Balm Take Home the Bronze. And I give my favorite blush duos from Jouer a run for its money. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and click that post notification so you know whenever I have a new upload. Today's video is going to be Makeup Bag Monday, week number 50. Six, I think if you are curious about any of the previous makeup bag Mondays definitely check out that playlist on my main channel page Before we get started it is shout out time So if you want an opportunity to get a shout out in one of my videos Make sure you check that description box down below this week's shout out goes to Angela Chan 0724 on Instagram. Thank you so much Angela for being a Subscriber of this channel with your post notifications turned on following me on Instagram and for watching my videos. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And it's thanks to viewers like you that I am able to continue to bring you guys in-depth, honest reviews each week. Love you, Angela. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you see this and let's get started with today's video. The first item I tested out for the week is the Balm Take Home the Bronze. I am in the shade Oscar. They do have three shades, one that's a little bit more medium toned and the one that's definitely more deeper toned. For my skin tone and for your reference, I'm MAC NC25. I am the shade Oscar. And this, I felt like, did a really beautiful job at creating a nice, gentle, natural bronze. I like to use this just underneath my cheekbones around here, but I do bring it up to my cheekbones to bring a little bit life to my pale complexion right now. I felt that the product was very smooth, very buttery, very blendable, very easy to use, pretty much foolproof, and I do love that it is talc-free. The packaging is adorable with the magnetic clothes. I have nothing bad to say about this, and I do recommend this as a bronzer if you're looking for a smooth, talc-free, pigmented, but easy to wear bronzer. The blushes I was testing out for the week is from Jouer. This is their new blush duo. They come in three shades. I specifically was testing out the Adore Blush Duo and the Flirt Blush Duo. Now, when I first got these, I was obsessed with the Adore Blush Duo because it's very wearable, very natural, very no makeup makeup look, and perfect for someone with my skin tone. I love these. Um, I think the pans are really large. The packaging is beautiful. There's a nice size mirror. Also, by providing two blush tones, it really creates this beautiful natural flush. I like to use the brighter tone on the apples of my cheeks, and then I like to use the deeper tone all over kind of like a sweep. You can also mix and match. You can do a little bit of a deeper. You can use one shade alone or you can swirl them together for another shade. So it's very versatile. I feel like you're getting a really beautiful product. They are also talc free. I just love them. This week, I tried to challenge myself by using a shade that I wasn't necessarily immediately drawn to for my everyday life, and that is the Flirt Blush Duo. And I am wearing it today. I think it's really beautiful. It gives me a little pop of color, a little pinkier shade to my skin tone, but in a good way. And I love that this mauvier highlight really tones down the pink a little bit, but still gives me that pop on the apples of my cheeks. Again, very blendable, very easy to use. It's not choppy, it's not chunky. It's pigmented, but not overly pigmented, which can be a problem with me in blushes, because my cheeks are the areas that is hardest for me to blend product or apply powder products. It just doesn't want to blend on this area. I don't know what it is, it is about my skin right there. Um, I've tried shaving it, I've tried exfoliating it, I do exfoliate pretty often, and I hydrate very, very well. And I found that both the Balm Bronzer and these blushes do a beautiful job. Again, they're just really great value. I love the quality of these as well. And then there's a third shade that's a little more fuchsia-ish. I'm still not reaching for that as much, but these are the two I love the most. And if you guys want to shop Jouer Cosmetics, I do have a discount code that's good for your entire purchase and you can reuse that code as many times as you want until they take it away from me. It is just my name, Serene15, for 15% off your entire Jouer Cosmetics website purchase. Um, only good on their website, though. The highlight I was using is from Hourglass. This is their new Vanish Flash. I have Flash Champagne, which is my favorite out of all of the cream stick highlights. It's the same kind of packaging as their Hourglass Vanish Foundation, which was a cult favorite. And this, I felt, was 
just beautifully done. It's a cream highlight, but it's not as emollient or creamy as something like my RMS Living Luminizer or my Glossier Halo Scope. So if the Glossier Halo Scope or the RMS Living Luminizer is just a little too creamy for you, this might be the product for you because it looks like you're just glowing from within. It's very natural, very subtle, but still noticeable and still there. It blends beautifully on top of powder. It blends beautifully without anything on your skin, and it blends beautifully on top of cream products as well. So it's a very versatile, wearable, product and there's a bunch of different shades you can choose from my personal favorite is the champagne shade and I like to warm it up on my fingers and just pat it on to my cheekbones and even onto my brow bones you can see it's just very very subtle but very noticeable at the same time and it's not chunky it's not glittery it's just a very elegant refined highlight this is something I highly encourage you guys to check out next time you're able to swatch it in stores I think you'll fall in love with it the final product I was testing out last week is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat this is new to the market I think it's coming soon if it's not out already and I love it so I was a huge fan of the Naked Heat full size and I'm just going to do a side by side comparison and I do have a review of this one as well. I think I did this in a Makeup Bag Monday right before I took a little hiatus from Makeup Bag Monday. This is very much similar to the Naked Heat regular size in terms of the mattes. So you're going to see that you're going to get a lot of the matte similarities in the petite heat, which I appreciate because I feel like shimmer, you can always layer a shimmer highlight over your eyeshadow to create a shimmer effect, or you can use your highlight as your highlighter on your eyes. Um, you can use a cream highlight. You, you can usually use something else to create that shimmer effect on your lids, but having a good variety of mattes that are warm and very easy to use is just amazing. This is the perfect travel size companion. This is also great if you want to save a little bit of money and you just can't justify buying another eyeshadow palette but you want something a little bit warmer, you can definitely check out the Naked Petite Heat. Now if you already own a ton of beautiful warm eyeshadow palettes, once again, if you watched last week's video, I'm not saying you have to buy any of these products. These reviews are here for you to make the best decision the next time you are looking to buy something. I am reviewing products constantly for you, but in no ways do I think everybody needs everything that I like. If you were holding out on the full size and this is a little more budget friendly and you already have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, maybe you'll check this one out. Or if you're looking for a travel size palette that is easy to throw in your makeup bag or throw in your travel bag, but you wanted something very warm because you're a warm eyeshadow lover, this is that actually perfect for that reason. I owned both the Naked Basics and Basics 2 palettes. And to be completely honest, they're beautiful palettes. They're just not as wearable for me because because I prefer warmer eyeshadows, and both of those are more on the cooler, neutral side. So this one I would reach for way more than the Naked Basics or the Naked Basics 2. This vanilla shade is a little bit shimmery. As you see when I apply it on my eyes, I'm wearing it today. You can get a little shimmer effect by using this on the center of your lid or the inner corner of your eyes, but it's not overly shimmery where you can't use it as a brow bone highlight. Love, love, love this like deep brownie purpley shade almost. I look washed out with my lips today. I'm not crazy about this lipstick. So, here are the products I will be testing out next week. And if you're still here, stay tuned because there is going to be a giveaway surprise in this video. First thing I'm going to be testing out I'm really excited about is from Laura Mercier. This is their new concealer that is launching in March called the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealers. They gave me the entire collection so I'm really excited to figure out which shade I am. I love their Secret Camouflage Concealer because that is like, if I just had that, I would be fine. I love Laura Mercier products. I love that their makeup is typically to look like skin in first and I love the technique for Laura Mercier which is to only put foundation and concealer where you need it and that's really how you create that almost flawless looking natural skin tone or complexion. I'll be testing this out and I will try to remember to swatch all of the shades as well for you guys in next week's video. Follow me on Insta Stories, you would have seen that I got the Avon True Color New Launch, which is their highlight and contour, and look at this packaging. I was also invited to the event, so I have an extra set. Now, because I know you guys don't 
get a chance to get these amazing PR boxes or packages with like cool lighting and all this stuff. When I went to the event, they gave me the entire collection again in a bag. So I'm going to keep the bag and review that for next week. But one lucky winner who enters the giveaway, check that description box. It's essentially make sure you're subscribed to this channel and go over and subscribe to my second channel, More Serene. Take a screenshot, DM me on Instagram, and I will randomly select a winner. If you guys are confused, I will repeat that in the description box. One winner will win this PR package with the entire new collection. Yay, surprise giveaway. It came out with two powder highlights. One is more for deeper skin tones and one is for light to medium. So I'm gonna be testing this one out. This is the Moonlight Highlight Powder in Quartz. And then there's the deeper shade, which won't look great on my skin, but will look beautiful on my eyes. This is going to be Moonlight Highlight Powder in Topaz. So this is really, really pretty, and you can definitely wear this on your eyes if you're fairer, or you can use it on your face, um, more like um, more of a like bronzy, all-over glow, I feel like. And then they have two cream highlights. This one is in the shade Champagne, and this one is in the shade Rose Gold. Again, really, really pretty. So I'm gonna test both of those out. Also came out with some contour sticks in three different shades, and I'm going to assume I'm more on the light shade. So it comes in light, medium, and deep, and then I'll try to remember to swatch all of the shades next week. But I will play with that and get back to you. I'm gonna be also trying the Anami Powerful Priming Serum. This is made without any fragrances, parabens, al alcohols, or phthalates. They also came out with these boosting lip and cheek sticks. So Anami makes products that are also nourishing to the skin and relatively free from anything that I personally like to avoid, which is mineral oils, fragrances, uh, synthetic fragrances, that is, or irritating fragrances, and phthalates. For sure, I try to avoid phthalates and parabens as well, but um, I, I'm not perfect. So there's gonna be three different shades of these. I love the packaging. Super cute, pinky, can't wait to try these out. I have the shade Wine, Nightingale, Nude, and Berry. I'll test them out next week and you guys can check back for swatches, demos, all that fun stuff. That is everything I will be testing out for next week's Makeup Bag Monday. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know whenever there's a new upload here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. If you wanna enter that bonus giveaway, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel as well. Go over to my More Serene channel. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications for both channels, take a screenshot, and send it to me via Instagram DM and I will randomly select a winner and announce it on my Instagram DMs and send you the fun Avon package with the light up mirror and everything. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to tune back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. I hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best. At the end of the day, I hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube videos and that's why I created this channel. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys back here on Thursday. Bye.